Hello and welcome back to Cudbuds. For the first time, no, yeah, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> um, something we should do is you, you want to um, preserve your tart beard gland. Because it's just taking up room in your inventory. There you go. Don't get surprised later when you see that I have tart beard gland paste. We could uh, we could make a recipe with that. Could be fun. Mm. All right. Um, let's do like tart beard paste, star apple jam, and we could do salt. Salt just makes everything better. I toss it in. You toss I it in. I stir it up. All right. One intelligence for the rest of the day. I'm smarter. I could learn to... Oh, I wasted it. That one's not bad. I don't know why you're only getting the one potential recipe here. Maybe that combo can only do one thing. No. should. There's <laughs> a lot of different ways it can go. I can breathe corrosive gas. Makes you think. Really makes you think. We should try that. It's fun. Right now? Uh, I mean, it, the cooldown's not bad. We keep getting these cool effects and then never using them. We had chill last time. And we never Blah. used it. Blah. Oh. Look at that. Stinky, Look at that thing I just did. Stinky breath. You already have it back. Um, the thing about acid uh, gas is that it does more damage um, based on its density. Like, the more of it is stacked in one tile, the more damage it does. So, you know... It's good to That's, keep doing it. Sounds good. This is a very boring desert so far. Well, that's one of the nice things about the desert is that it is boring. Um, but also, like, it's chill. Like, there's not a lot that can kill you in the desert unless you come across, a, a, you know, just a horrible legendary. Um, which is just pure fingers crossed fingers crossed we die again why are, why are we hoping for that excitement adventure adventure yeah no i've actually like in in previous playthroughs i have um explored the entire desert because it is just a really good way of like finding ruins, making uh, friends, because there'll just be like people hanging out in the desert. There's another weird artifact we could throw money at, but we're not gonna. An advanced toolkit. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well. Yeah, not much going on here. You can you find get some it. canned have it all. Canned have it all is quite good. Mm hmm. Yeah, go for it. Grab some. Sell your uh, compass bracelets. You can just make the rest with money, with with water. All right. Thanks, Mister. <laughs> I like to theorize that canned have it all is just a food can with the label ripped off. Okay. They just they call it. Can't have it all because it could be anything. Whoop. 
I should put my I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right now while I think about it. Uh Oh yeah. Clear. New killer. It's pronounced no killer. And then ab. Yes. Yep. You got it. I don't have that axe anymore. That's fine. Yeah, it gave me one AB. Ooh. Stop trying to conk. They flinch. Long gliders have a some AV or a, sorry DV, so they can avoid. But the sniper rifle is still a pretty effective weapon against them. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. This is going well. Nice, you marked it. There we go. There we go. Hey. Easy peasy. We can always, we can do surefire shots. You're far enough away that surefire shots, you know. Do nothing. Oh, you critically hit it. There you go. As long as we spend skill points to get the skill, we should probably use it. Yeah, it was fine, but now with the reloading, it's just too many steps. Yeah. Three. Fire. Stop. Reload. Fire. I won't lie. This is a... Uh, Three. This... Hey. I usually don't uh, go too deep into the um, bows and rifles skill tree because of exactly this reason. <laughs> it was fine till you decided that scopes are the best weapon in the world, and I've accepted that as truth. That's sure. really slowed down the process where I can't... It's just fire. Fire, 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 fire. We, I mean, you Reload. still have that weapon. You could switch back. We're not in Bethesda Seuss anymore. We don't have to play optimally. We can play for fun. I'm a huge advocate of playing for fun over playing to, to be optimal. I accept that I'm on fire. You are the dog meme. <laughs> Shout out to the to Casey Green. Go ahead, go ahead and uh, switch back to your carbide. Legit. I may I may um, provoke you to switch back if something more dangerous. Uh, comes up specifically uh, the, the circumstance that I envision will be a legendary that you want to kill without invoking the wrath of their friends or something like that. Hello. You meet so many nice birdmen in the desert. <laughs> they're they're camels. I don't know. <laughs> Fix its bay from farm. All these drum ads are awful. Oh, there's a burn capacitor with an A. You need some A's, right? Yeah, I do. And you could buy that silver nugget. I'm sure we have something we can give up for that. Ooh, a camel bladder. But if they're camels, that's their own bladder. I've... <laughs> That's effed up. That's that, effed up, dude. That's canon. Uh, is it worth it for the spray foam? Uh, we don't. If we don't have any, sure. 
Yeah, go for it. I believe hmm. we don't. You could um, conceivably... I do know how to repair things, but sometimes apparently it won't let me do that, and sometimes it will. So... Yeah, if you don't understand what something is, um, then fix this spray foam is the best bet. Yeah, throw your plastic for bonnet at this. It's good enough. You'll get a little bit of water, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's good. Good. Yeah. Great. Thanks for that. So, um, I, I, I wanna, I wanna just, uh, Oh, I just realized how far our, our vision is at night. I always have to sleep through the nights. Some stairs. Some stairs and salt. Salt is good. I think that is salt we can collect. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's Let's something else. Let's find out. Yep. Do I... Pour? <laughs> yeah, pour. Because otherwise you're going to collect 4,000 drams. Just put it in and your I'll yeah. Just do that. <clears throat> Perfect. I I've caved of cuds before. So I was gonna <clears throat> let you know that yes. um <clears throat> Remember that scaled ape fur cloak? Mm-hmm. I said it was gonna be useful at some point. Right. That the one we don't have anymore? Yeah, I was just I just wanted to let you know so you, you actually got the the fun conclusion on that. Um, the rhyme wick was exactly what that circumstance was useful for. Right, but we didn't have time to put it on. No, I know. But the, the right. scaled the scaled modifier gives us reputation with unshelled reptiles. I'm going to take these stairs I found in the desert. Sure. Oh. Underground desert is kind of strange but it can be cool i mean there's already some uh trash on the screen so the fun thing about flying creatures or creatures that normally fly is when you encounter them underground they can no longer fly so you can just melee fight them so you know mm. bear your nemesis. My nuisance. <laughs> My nuisance. My nemos nuisance. My nema nuisance. Nema nuisance. Some, Some forgot forgot burns. Burns. Very good. Oh, we got an A bit. Crash diving. We got a C Crash bit. Diving. There's a little bag down there. This looks now. Spicy pig. No, th well, they are spicy, but I was thinking the fire snouts. That's gonna give you boar meat. This. No. Nah. Brackish. Brackish. I believe uh, brackish means it has salt in it, right? Maybe. Pretty sure that's true. Can't say I've ever used the word in every day. So you can buy. Um, there's an item in Cud called the desalination pellet. This is a thing in real mm. life as well, I think. But you yep. can use it to um, draw out the brackishness from water. Um, it's quite valuable though. So like, you can't exploit the game where you're desalinating water and then just using it as currency what is that oh that's a gas mask oh sad mask not gas mask but it does protect against noxious it's it's the same deal maybe not as effective as a gas mask or i guess is that what we had last time no, we had a gas mask. Okay. We took it from a blown up mechanist. 
Okay. Cool. Cool desert hole. I can't. I can. You can. Cool desert hole. Oh, we have a statue. We're also inspired again, so we might want to make a new meal. Alternated O1, blah, 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 recall over havoc all on the burn record. I think I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we never really got to make use of corrosive gas. It's fine. I sure did use it that one time. It's. We know how to do it again, right? Yeah, we do. Nice. Um, what are you feeling? Do you want something that like improves your base stats, or do you want a new spicy ability? Uh, what's a canned habit I'll do? Why don't we try it? I don't want to use the dream smoke. That seems like a fun thing to do before something's gonna happen. Uh, I have no idea what that does, so we would not want to be inspired when we use that because we only have the one. There's no point in making it a recipe. Um, mm. I'd say just throw some salt in with the canned have it all. Let's it's 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 kind of something you you use on its own. You don't have to. There you go. Um, plus one ma. That's just for the salt. You can use burrowing claws. There you hmm. go. So uh, it Don't took on the slink donut. It it took on the effects of uh, spine fruit jam, I think. Mmm. Dig dig. Not uh, not the most exciting effect. I actually, uh, I think I was on uh, a stream with Nerf and we were working out the actual odds of can't have it all being able to kill you. And I think it is 0.1%. There's a 0.1% chance that it can kill you. It might even be 1%, but I don't, I don't think so. Another Dromac. Ooh, You're encountering so many Dromac Merchant and, and a desert hole. Oh. This is exciting desert stuff, right? I uh, promise you the desert is way more interesting than this. That's true. Strange furniture. Oh, do you have a precinct navigator? Or did you lose it in a, in a playthrough? I think we sold it. Uh, that might have been a data disc to make one. I wouldn't have told you that maybe you did sell it. I think, or we threw it in a hole. Oh, the heirlooms of cut is really cool. Um, I'm not necessarily advocating you buy it, but it is a really cool. I, does it let you read it? No, oh, shoot. That, um, How, in what way is it cool? It tells you the, basically what kind of artifacts um, each faction uh, have in their possession and value greatly. It's a, it's a difficult one, but basically every faction has an ultimate object that they treasure, and uh, heirlooms of Cud will tell you what they are, and um, so you can like potentially make plans like, oh, I, you know, the the tortoises have a really good item this playthrough, so I'm gonna make friends with them and uh, see if I can get them to give it to me or tell me where it is. But it's not, it, this is not a strategy thing. It's just a cool thing. I, I tend not to ignore it completely because actually planning to try and get some of that stuff is really difficult. Well, let's sell a sapphire and get it. All right. <clears throat> you should, you can just, uh, oh. Yeah, you definitely want that precinct navigator. Because that's, uh, 
that's gonna make navigating a lot easier and also ruin like roaming around in ruins is a lot easier i really like it anyway it's uh you can throw your floating glow sphere you don't really need that yeah uh, just make up the rest in water. I guess so you could probably sell one more thing. Wee. Sell your sell your beaded bracelet, and that'll be like perfect. Oh yeah, and your uh, copper nuggets. Copper nugs. I tend to get rid of those first because they actually take up a lot of room, one like collectively. Not on their own, but uh, you know. But should I save the bracelet and sell the nugs because we're Ah, uh, sell both. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is yeah, good. That's pretty good. Whoop. Okay. We don't care about forty dollar weird artifact. Nah, that can't possibly be anything good. I desire nothing. Um. So, on your arm, what do we have on our arm? A precinct navigator. Oh my with god, a solar I'm sound. an idiot. <laughs> We're already wearing it. Oh, New one, all I'm right. I'm sorry. Is it good parts? Can I break it? Uh, Yeah, it is good parts, but it was certainly not worth buying it for that. Well, oh. let's take the cell. Get you can the just parts. disassemble it, it'll give you the cell. It won't disassemble the cell as well. Sorry about that. My memory failed me. No, I also remember we probably could have looked, but here we are. <laughs> All right. Do you want to look at uh, heirlooms of Cud real quick? <clears throat> I do. I immediately forgot about it. Uh, books? Books. Now, you can give that for experience, so it is worth something. But it is worth actually looking through. Compiled Attachment from the notes to visual objects is a peculiar phenomenon. Oh, this is this makes sense. Often the bonds we form transcend physical values. They are steeped in history, enrolled in tradition, and they elude rational explanation. Blah, 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 blah. So, oh. antelopes have a chest piece. Apes have shields. Apes have shields. That's quite good because we are into shields right now. Baboons have bracelets, mm -hmm. but we're never friends with bra with baboons. Who's a Mamon? Mamon? Uh, oof. It's birds. Birds also like cudgels, but I feel like Mamon is probably... Cudgels, huh? Yeah. Is that not what we're into? No, into yeah, 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 you're right. Children of Mamon. Uh, that's a really spicy one. There's this... Of Shunip. Uh, Cult of the Scourge of Shunip. Well, that's good uh, because that is one of the historic sites. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we just have to find out where Shunip is or whatever their historic site is. Fish also have cudgels. Freezing flowers. Hedonists. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, where I get stuck on is I'm not really sure how to, like, proceed with this information. Like, I don't know, like, I guess what you would want to do is find a legendary of one of these factions, like, for instance, fish, um, make friends with them, and then get them to share secrets with you, and then hope that one of those secrets is where the, is the location of that prized possession. Villagers of Jopa have a chest piece. Vines have shoes. Worms have that shoes. Just, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Neither of those factions have feet. Alright. Also don't know what to do with this information, but good to know. It's something I should really figure out in a future playthrough. Because I think it can be... It, it's some advanced stuff. Like, um, I haven't really been 
I don't know if I mentioned this, but like, you know, the, the like historical information you get about, um, certain sultans, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, the, the anadoct, um, that information will actually kind of clue you in to a few things. Like for instance, what kind of friends that they kept. So like what kind of, uh, creatures you're bound to encounter in their historic sites. But including with that, um, it'll some certain wording and certain phrasing will also clue you in into what kind of uh, precious artifact you can hope to receive by, um, you know, delving into that. What is that? Is that a dawning? Is that a dawn glider above you? It looks different to me somehow. Yeah, I don't know why it looks different to me. I guess its tile is slightly broken because of uh, the stream. But it looks slightly different to me. Anyway, um, the point to this is that uh, a lot of the nonsense stuff that you read in CUD sounds and looks like nonsense, but it's actually information that you can use. I, I don't personally, but, you know, it's kind of good to know that, it, that there is a purpose to it and it's not just like gobbledygook. Uh, if you shoot him I'm worried i'm gonna shoot that man yeah you're probably gonna shoot that man you can just melee hit him like he's not a threat and he'll electrocute him oh yeah you're right forgot <laughs> i appreciate the lengths that you're going to to not hit that hermit that is like a kindness he that did i did nothing probably... wrong there. He did nothing wrong. Ooh. Some good stuff. Well, some good one thing. Ashes do anything? No. That just tells you that someone got burnt. Alright, let's look around. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Friends with the bugs. No worm corpse. No worm corpse is a fairly rare thing. I have a strange hi history with no worm corpse. What happened? Um. You haven't gotten sick yet, but it's a potentially frustrating Ooh. thing. Right, you are, uh, you have burrowing claws, so your dude is not afraid to just... I see. I'm back to that old thing again. Yeah. Kool-Aid man mode activated. Absolutely. Yeah, um... Right. In order to cure yourself of certain diseases, uh, it requires you to seek out certain uh, ingredients, which are randomly generated and kind of thrown together. And sometimes th that can require you to uh, seek out like corpses of certain creatures. No worm uh, being one of them. No worm corpse is a quite a rare thing because uh, no worms themselves are kind of nomadic. They are randomly occurring. They do not travel in packs. They're not something that you can predict their location. They just are in the caves of Cud. Um, and you don't have a guaranteed chance to get a corpse from every creature. No, worm, mm. no worms specifically are kind of a low chance to get a corpse. And so, uh, when it was made an ingredient for, to cure myself, I had to seek, uh, seek it out for many, many, many playthroughs or sessions before I cured myself of the disease. We are inspired. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say... This will just be a fun little chat and desert app, and then we'll go back, patrol, take 
three? I've been three or four. Uh, you died by crabs, then you died by trolls. And then I died by Rhymewick. Yes. So four. Take four. Not going to lose a face this time. Yeah, we're, um, we're going to, I don't know. It might be good to level up like once. We do have some books, but they're not enough to level us up. I honestly think uh, some ruin diving wouldn't do us some do do us wrong. Um. Okay. So we'll have a desert app because this has been about thirty minutes. Yep. Ish. Uh, we'll do a ruin diving thing next episode, and then back to the business of. For the last time. For the last time. I'm calling it. Because <laughs> if we don't beat it, the series is over. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Well, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. You wandered into the marsh. I've left the desert. Yeah, you have made it, it all the way to the bottom of the world. We did it, everyone. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, get in the get in the get in the comments and tell us what we should be doing instead. You know. Next time we should just wear the scaled cloak as soon as we find it. All right. Good plan. Yeah. Bye. Bye.